Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lenka from Lenka Loves Logs. And um, I want to talk to you about my experience, my first week with dreads. I've got um, real dreads from my own hair and I already put in some synthetic dreads just to create some volume while the baby dreads are knotting up and felting. Um, so yeah, I want to talk to you about it. Um, first of all, let me show you how it looks now. So that's my hair with the natural dreadlocks, well natural, and the synthetic dreadlocks. Oh, sorry. I'm standing in front of a cage. Here are uh, four male birds and whenever I stand in front of it, my voice echoes. <laughs> Poor birds. Don't worry, they've got a splendid life. So uh, don't come at me, but those are four canaries, male ones. And then I've got one there in the Back. she's on the nest right now so you can see her she's yellow she's my little Pikachu she's a female so enough said back to the dress so what I did um, in the beginning when I got them I directly put in some synthetic synthetic dreads that I made myself single-ended and normally you would just put them on the lower layers of dreads because on top, of course, when you put in a single ended dread, you can see where it's put in. But I was like, ah, fuck, uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Oh no, and I'm only two minutes in. Maybe I can. Uh, anyways, I said to myself, whatever, I'm going to put in some on top of it as well so that I've got some more um, volume and um, yeah I washed them with my Dolly Locks shampoo I braided my bangs because my bangs were knotting up and doing all kinds of stuff and I was like ah no I'm not gonna lose you as well because I always had to comb it out and I'm like ah no so um I went to work and at work you've got like two groups of people you've got the people no three groups you've got and it was especially the younger people who were like oh that's so cool and where did you go to get them and I was like I didn't go anywhere I did it myself <gasps> You did my yourself and maybe I'm thinking about having some dreadlocks and oh wow and and, and I love the color and I was like oh thank you thank you but then there are the people who say like oh you've got dreadlocks now and that's it end of conversation and <laughs> then you've got the third group that's like uh, looking at you noticing there's something different but not talking about the elephant in the room like leave the elephant hidden away don't want to talk about it that's okay i don't mind like it's my hair i do whatever i want but i have to be honest i was i was just a little bit scared because oh my god i was dying inside i was like oh, they're gonna hate it and um I was scared to get a complaint for, from a parent because I work in a daycare center and um, but luckily in our daycare center um, we've got a very diverse group of people and group of children so there are children from all over the world like Africa, China, I, I, even Ukraine, uh, Italy, France, name it, they come from all over the place. So luckily that's the case because this diversity, they don't really like, 
scared when they see you because they know you are like uh, let her do whatever uh it's the culture and it's not even my culture i know i'm not going to go into cultural appropriate styles but um most people understand that's what i'm going to say so i um didn't get any negative feedback or um so that's a good thing <laughs> And then uh, when I go to work, I just put my hair up. I try to turn it around like this. I put an elastic around it or something else. Or you can even use your own dreadlocks to just uh, pin it down or just put it around. And there you go. So that's not so bad. Or I just make a ponytail out of it. And now I um, ordered from the dread shop in uh, the Netherlands. I ordered um, these spiral spiral locks. It's like um, a wire in a, a bandana type of thing and you put it around and it's not an elastic but it's much easier to create hairstyles. So. I'm going to order that I didn't already order it's ready to order but I do have to do that because I need that because the elastics is really hard sometimes um so that's what I what I do when I go to work um there was even one colleague who was like oh what type of incense do you burn at home and I was like uh yeah, because I, I smelled something and it was like in your clothes and I'm like, it's it's not in my clothes, it's my hair, my shampoo and my, <laughs> it's not shampoo. It is uh, incense, it's a type of incense and it's the best smell in the world. Uh, but uh, no, that's my shampoo. Is it too much? She said, no, 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 it's really, oh, it's really uh, relaxing and I was like, oh. <laughs> great so um that's a good thing um i'll use dolly locks nashampa uh, soap bar with sea salt in it because that's good for young dreads and um i use the tightening spray and the what is it the refreshing spray so um also i i i have a problem with I've got this middle line and I don't know why I, I started doing my dreadlocks like I, I put them back like this but my hair seems to naturally fall into a back line in the middle line all the time and I'm like I will have to learn to live with it and just do something or maybe just um, take some hairs here and just command them to go to the back and oh, hopefully that will help but um, yeah <laughs> uh, it's something I can't help it's it's just yeah that's the way my hair is has been growing for years so it's it's <laughs> Uh, stubborn <laughs> that's the right hair on the right head you know stubborn um, so sleeping sleeping was okay and that's just because I didn't go to a saloon so they uh, in a saloon they normally work your dread just up to the to the scalp and for me I've got some uh, more looser hair at the scalp so um, that's a good thing for me because that means that I can uh, I don't have lots of pain when I lay down there's no nothing really bothering me um, if you want to have a good night's sleep and you don't know how and you've got synthetic especially the synthetic ones they tend to scratch a bit and um, yeah there's one that always wants to escape <sighs> Sometimes I have to like pull pull it back. So uh, how can I show you with a t-shirt? Do I have a t-shirt? Wait, I will get a t-shirt. 
So I've got a t-shirt. What you do is um, this even the neck is too wide for me because normally I, I should take one with a um, tighter neck. You put your head through like this, put your dreadlocks back, you pull it up, you put it around your dreads. So when the neck is tight, this is not as tight as it should be, but that's a great way to keep your synthetic dreads from bothering you at night, scratching you, uh, falling over your face. I try to sleep like that a few times and I must say um, never worked. Uh, first thing I used was a nightcap especially for dreads with something to tie them up at the back. In the morning I woke up and the nightcap was gone and then I used a t-shirt which was a bit smaller here and in the morning the t-shirt was gone. <laughs> So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing at night, but I'm 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 just a, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I do uh, dream a lot, so maybe in my dreams I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, I washed them already, and uh, oh my god. It's heavy, it takes a long time to um, dry. Uh, yeah, that's for now all that I can say. So I've got a good length. I'm happy about that. But that will change when they um, lock up and uh, become mature. Then normally they will shrink. And uh, But I've got my human hair to prevent them from getting too um, short and that's it am i happy yes i am because i feel like the person i should be it's a strange thing to say but that's how i feel so um if anyone has got other tips and tricks for new dreads very young new dreads look at them they're already like i do some palm palm rolling when i i'm in front of the tv and i'm like um i'm like palm rolling and that does help i've got thicker ones thinner ones they um apparently the thinner ones it will take a longer time for them to dread I already have got like these things sticking out so I will keep this for a few months and I said to myself like if in like the summertime I'm finding it still a bit too um, all over the place I might just go to a saloon and let them um, let them maybe put in some false hair and uh, just do the roots so that I can start with a, uh, yeah a, a, a neater neater tidier hair head what am I saying dread head but for now it's okay and I'm uh, sometimes I, I I look at them and I'm like it's not bad it's not bad it's less, uh, it's it's, uh, it's okay I'm not not that angry <laughs> so thank you so much for watching uh, as I said sorry I'm looking at my feet I don't know why um, as I said if you've got some questions or comments or you want to share something with you with you with me the um, like tips and tricks that you've learned because you're uh, into a much further stage than me, please let me know. I greatly appreciate your tips and your comments. So thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.